everyone's heard that laparoscopic surgery is minimally invasive, there's less incisions, there's less of a scar, and people feel fully recovered sooner. The use of laparoscopic surgery is nothing new, but doctors are finding a new benefit when it comes to kidney donation. If you're having less pain, you recover sooner, you get back to work sooner, um, it cosmetically looks better, then it's attracting more people. That's the end result for the transplant team at Gulf Coast Medical Center. Demand for kidneys outpaces supply, so they had to make changes. One of the things that we have expanded in kidney transplant, rather than relying as we have historically on deceased donors, is to go to what are called living donor transplants. Operating through a series of poke holes, the laparoscopic technique inserts a camera and cutting tools through a small tube. The donor kidney is carefully detached and removed from the patient. Instead of a 10 inch incision, the organ is retrieved through a three to four inch opening. Some findings early on that suggested that the removed kidney on the laparoscopic approach was not quite as good. However, that's pretty much old data now. The most recent data show not really a significant difference between the two. It's hoped this new approach will open up more opportunities for people willing to give a piece of themselves. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.